Next up on our 2024 CBC Fall Sports Media Day Tour is the Wycliffe Blue Devils soccer, boys soccer team. We've got head coach Dominic Butari here. Coach, you're in your, uh, I believe, third year now at Wycliffe? Uh, this will be my you second been... year at Wycliffe, but you've known yeah, me for yeah. a little bit because I spent two years. Oh, yeah, you've been at Trinity, well. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, so you, you've been at Wycliffe now. You're alma mater for a couple seasons. Coming into this year, how much more advanced are you compared to last year where you were just kind of implementing all kinds of new stuff with the guys? Yeah, I feel like we're starting to kind of build a, cult, a culture, a program that I'm, I'm looking forward to. We just instituted like a, like a buddy program between seniors and freshmen. We don't have a ton of freshmen, but they all have a senior paired with them to help them through the process of being in high school, just inside of the classroom and on the soccer field. So that's something cool that I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of continuing to build out. And, you know, as always, we got the alumni game going strong still. I like having a pretty strong connection to the community and getting everyone back involved as much as possible. You returned three all-conference kids from last year, so that gives you a nice solid core. How many other returning players do you have, and how confident are you that these guys are on the right track to have a great season? Yeah, so we graduated four seniors last year, so you know we're going to bring back the other you know seven of those starters. Um, we have a couple injuries right now, but we do have a lot a lot coming back, and I am pretty confident with the boys. We are. Working it out, obviously, with the keeper, we lost Anthony Shaw, who was an all-conference goalkeeper and one of the better, you know, keepers I've had the chance to coach in the seven years I've been doing it. Um, but I've been really impressed with the progress I've seen out of the two we kind of have battling it out so far. And that's really was the only question mark for me coming into the season of what we were going to do. So it's good to see the, the competition hopefully is breeding some uh, greatness, as they say. What's going to be the key to success this season? I think it's going to be staying together. Because while we do return a lot of players, uh, I was telling the guys even today, like there are a lot of guys, we're a small team that are going to get in that don't have a lot of experience and they're going to have to be important players. You know, obviously I don't expect the, the sophomore that's never played a varsity game to come in and score 12 goals this year, but he's going to have to, you know, receive nice passes, play crisp, crisp balls to his teammates and just, you know, defend hard. Um, and I just need our boys that are experienced and, used to doing all those things to support them through that process because it can be definitely intimidating for a new player coming in. All right, Cameron, we're going to start with you. I think coach uh, must've lost his power or something. He's uh, he just flew out of there. So Cameron uh, coming in, uh, go ahead for the folks at home, just introduce yourself, name, grade, and uh, what position you're playing this year. I'm Cameron Chapo. Uh, I'm a senior at Wycliffe and I play center mid. All right, so coming in this season, senior year, obviously, uh, you know, you, you, you're, you've got to be excited about being a senior. You're going to graduate in eight, nine months. But at the same time, every time you step on the field, you're going to be closer to the end of your high school career. So how are you kind of battling those dueling emotions here this fall? I think that going into every game, looking for a win, that's a big thing. Uh, yeah, I think we have some goals this year we want to hit. And... Yeah, if we hit all those, I think it should be a pretty good season, and we should leave leave the season with a pretty. Coach pretty, said you graduated yeah. four. Coach said you graduated four seniors. Uh, obviously, you don't replace anybody. You put new people in a new position, and you hope they're just as efficient and productive. How are you seeing those new guys step into that role, and what are you doing to help them kind of settle in? I lost you there. What, what was that? You cut out a second. Oh, yeah, you, you, yeah, we had a big issue there. Let me start over. Um, you didn't hear, did you hear any of that question? No. Okay, we're going to have a, we're going to a little pause here so that I can edit this part out. So one second. And so as a senior leader, you've got some new guys into the lineup. Uh, you graduated four seniors, so obviously you have some new players stepping into those shoes. As a senior, what are you doing to help those players settle into their new roles? I think uh, being a leader, that's big. They got to learn their place on the team. And so we're, we're kind of teaching them where, where they belong on the team. As a, as a captain, that's kind of our role. What's going to be the key to getting everything going the way that it needs to be, offensively and defensively, just to get those 11 guys playing as one? Um, I think just it's kind of cliche, but teamwork, really. Like, we got to use every man we have on the field and just use them to their full potential. And I think we're going to do some pretty good things this year if we can do that. What are your goals for senior year individually and for your team? I want to – win a district final, win the CVC, 
Um, get some goals, a lot of assists. No, no real targets to hit, but just trying to get as many as I can, you know. I do. All right. Well, good luck to you this fall. We're going to go ahead and add Nathan here to the show. Nathan, for the folks at home, can you just go ahead and introduce yourself, name, grade, and position? Um, I'm Nathan Klinger. I'm a right back slash center back, and I'm a senior this year. All right, Nathan, coming in, obviously senior year, you've got uh, you know an opportunity to add a chapter to the legacy at Wycliffe. What are you hoping that people remember about you as a player? Um, hopefully as a really good defender, somebody who talks a lot in the back line, possibly a high scoring defender this year off of corners, but, um, hopefully just as a good team player as well. I know you lost your goalie who was one of the, the best goalies in the conference. So you've got a new guy back there. Who is it? And give us a little scouting report. Um, we have Ethan McEl- McElroy back there. Uh, he's a little bit newer than our last goalie and he has a lot less experience, but we're just trying to shepherd him along. Um, just trying to use him to the best of our ability, but he's definitely not at the level of our last year goalie, but we're still looking pretty good. And what's it going to take for the defense to really protect him back there? A lot more running. (laughs) We've conditioned a lot, so we're ready for it. But uh, a lot of talking him up, um, just giving him as much advice as we can and possibly subbing him out if we have to because we have a few backup goalies as well. All right. And now let's flip the coin. And uh, you're on defense, so at practice you're going up against your offensive players. Who are some of the guys that you're confident that are going to do some of the goal scoring this year? Um, Especially I think Kurt is definitely going to be our highest scorer this year. He's a, he's a fellow captain. Um, Kurt, Cameron, and Ethan in the midfield, uh, that's going to be a dangerous combo with Noah up top. I think all all four of them are going to be very high scorers this year. And last one for you, just give me a breakout player, somebody that maybe didn't play quite as much last year, but you think they're going to have a big breakout season this year. Tell me why. Um, I think Caden Spaulding is going to have a really good season. Uh, this is his first year playing as a senior, but he's really athletic, and I think he's going to help us out a lot on the back line. Um, Ethan Scott is also another big one. He's just coming off of an ACL injury but I still think he's going to be a huge part to the team. Outstanding. Good luck to you this fall. Coach, we'll go back to you. We lost you there earlier, so glad you were able to get back in. But, uh, yeah, so talked a little bit uh, about the team with the guys, a little bit about the offense, the defense. From your perspective, what, what is it going to take to get this team playing 11 as one and, and just to achieve all of uh, the goals that you've set for the program? Yeah, um, I, think, I think it's going to take patience, right, from me and from the players because – while we have been getting to know each other all year and we've been working together all summer, um, it, it's a slow process, right? Like um, most people will look at the results from our summer leagues, the showcases uh, in June and July and be like, man, this team is, is no good. Uh, but we had two scrimmages in August and we won them both. So we're, you know, we're kind of putting it together as the season progresses. Like I had talked to you earlier that uh, Beachwood's a tough game to start with, but it is exciting to get a chance to start with that and, you know, show what we can do. I mean, last year we started the season against Madison and lost eight to one. So I can't imagine a, uh, it getting much more difficult than that as a way to start off a season. Right. Uh, and Madison, you know, to your credit, at least they went on to win a CBC title. So it wasn't a bad, bad <laughs> opener, you know, softens the blow a little bit, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, you brought up Beachwood and, and when you got, when you, got cut out earlier we were talking about the conference it's a really tough conference to play in uh for soccer but how does that help your team just knowing that you know they're gonna have to go out every time in a conference game and be at their best yeah so i scheduled what i thought was and i I still think obviously we'll see how the teams end up playing out is a really difficult schedule for the team this year um and that was even before i kind of had the for sure confirmation that we were going to be going down to division five so I think this playing in a tough conference, playing a couple other CDC schools that are not in our conference, like we've added Hawken this year, like we're going to play Madison again, um, just to kind of see the really high level teams, see what the best teams can look like. And then when we go out and play in Division 5, like and we're going to play in the tournament, like I want to make a run there, right? I'd much rather go, you know, 7-9, and 8-8 eight and eight in the regular season and make a run to a district final than win 15 15- games in the regular season and lose in like the sectional final, you know, that's just what I'm kind of prepared. hundred percent. I always say you've got 16 scrimmages and then they count. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's always good to go 16 and Oh, but like you said, I'd rather go one and Oh, and in, in, you know, the, the 17th game and mm-hmm. keep that going. But 
All right, Coach. Well, I appreciate you and the guys taking some time out of your day to preview the season. I wish you the best of luck this fall. All right, thank you. Appreciate you taking the time to talk to us.